Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to unbox and set up the Ring Alarm Pro Base Station version 3, right after the intro. This new version of the Ring Alarm Base is known as the Ring Alarm Pro, and it has an Eero Wi-Fi 6 router integrated. To make sure the whole home is covered, I also purchased a second Eero Wi-Fi 6 router. I purchased a mount for the router to make for a cleaner look. This new base station also supports local storage and processing of video from all of your Ring cameras using Ring Edge. I will demonstrate that functionality in a later video, so make sure you subscribe. And here we're going to unbox it's our Ring Alarm Pro base station. our router. Now I could have got just the extender but I purchased the router because that has the Ethernet ports. The extender does not have Ethernet ports. And then we have our wall mount. This is going to allow us to cleanly mount the router or extender on the wall. Looks like we have a USB-C power adapter. They include one Ethernet cable. Of course, the user guide. Product information. A sticker that says it's protected by ring. Put that on a window or a door. Then, of course, we have the base station itself. This base station is quite a bit thicker than the second generation base station. We have two Ethernet ports on the back, power port, and a micro SD slot. That's going to be for the local storage and processing of video from the ring cameras. And one last quick look at the bottom of the base station. It can be wall mounted or it can sit flat on a surface. Next, we're gonna unbox the Eero 6 router. You know, there's always something satisfying about tearing the plastic wrap off. Here's what it looks like. And the extender will look very similar. And we have an ethernet cable. Information about the Eero Secure, the Quick Start Guide. So it has some instructions on it. And then your warranty, safety, and legal information. And in the bottom of the box, we have our power adapter, which is a USB C. Next we have the wall mount. Now at the end of the video, I will put a picture in there that shows you what the wall mount looks like mounted to the wall. It's very clean looking. Of course, we have a little instruction booklet. It shows you how to route the wiring and so on. The router slash extender actually has to slide in from the back. And then there's a plate that goes into the back that holds the wiring. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now in this section of the video, we're going to be doing the setup in the Ring app. And 
and we're replacing a version two. So we're just going to go in and add it as Alarm Pro Base Station. It's going to ask us to confirm our location. And then it's going to ask us if we want to replace our existing ring alarm. going to back up all the existing alarm devices. Now, this is if you're replacing an existing system. If you're setting up a brand new system, you won't go through any of the backup and restore process. Once the backup is complete, we'll be able to continue. going to give us a little bit of information about the Ring Alarm Pro. Also, as part of this process, we will set up the Eero Wi-Fi. And just like the previous generation, there is an integrated battery backup. And with this particular Alarm Pro, you can add additional power packs. Then you'll go through the install process. Now this is probably going to take a little bit longer for us because we're actually restoring all of our existing sensors and we have a lot of them. So we'll fast forward through this process and pick back up with you once the installation is complete. Okay, the installation is complete. And now the Ring app is going to restore our sensor configuration to the new alarm base. Then it's going to register the base with our Ring account. Now we had a lot of devices, so it took a little bit of time for them to be restored. They have been restored. And now we're ready to continue. And when we do continue here, you're going to see that we're in a 30 day trial of the Ring Protect. After that time, we're gonna to need to purchase a subscription. Now the last thing we're gonna do as part of this setup process is configure the Eero Wi-Fi. The new Ring Alarm Pro has built-in Eero Wi-Fi. In order to take advantage of the local storage, which I'll show you in a later video, we're going to need to connect all the cameras through the Eero Wi-Fi router. Okay, so we're just going to go through the Eero setup process. I'm just going to set up a temporary network for now. And later on, I'll change it to something unique and secure. Now the app here is gonna tell us exactly what we need to do to get the router all prepared for the setup. So we're just gonna step through that quickly. Of course, we'll need to allow Bluetooth access. Of course, it's going to ask us where the device is located. And then we'll need to choose an SSID and a password. going to go through the registration process. Then it's going to configure the Wi-Fi network. 
we can see now it's up and running. And we can add another device. We're not going to do that right now. We're just going to finish the setup. We're all set. And it's at this point you would go ahead and configure the professional monitoring. Okay, everyone, and as promised earlier in the video, here's a picture of the wall mount. Okay, everyone. So even if you're replacing your existing base station and you have professional monitoring, you will need to reapply if you upgrade your base station. And when you reapply, you will also have to go through the seven day practice period again. So during that seven day practice period, you are essentially self monitored. So it's important to note that, especially if you already had a system that had the professional monitoring in place. Now, as far as plans are concerned, the $10 a month plan is still available, but that plan no longer includes professional monitoring like it did one year ago. You will need to upgrade to the Ring Protect Pro plan, which is $20 a month or $200 per year to get the professional monitoring. In addition, the Ring Alarm Pro combined with the Ring Protect Pro subscription gives you additional features. Most notably, you get the 24-7 backup internet and the Ring Edge, which allows local storage and processing of video footage from your Ring cameras. It's an excellent system and still a great deal if you ask me. The only complaints I have are the limited data for the backup internet. At the time of this recording, you get three gigabytes of backup data included and you can opt for automatic data add-ons at a rate of $3 per one gigabyte. The second complaint I have is with the Ring Edge. Currently, you have to choose either local storage or cloud storage for your footage. I would have liked the ability to store and process video locally, but to also have a backup of that footage in the cloud as well. Hopefully Ring will add that feature in the future. Folks, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps others find quality content on YouTube, and we really appreciate it. Click on subscribe, and then click the bell to get notified anytime new content is added. As always, comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome below, and we thank you very much for watching.